today is a special little boy's birthday. Hooray! Morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Woke up late, which hey, that's not bad because sleeping is good. And today is a special little boy's birthday. Hooray! And I am so excited. Um, so MRL is one today. Yay! And the reason I don't have him in my room yet is I'm about to give him one of his birthday presents. The Millennium Falcon. It's crinkly here, has a giant squeaker. I know he's gonna love this. So let's see how he reacts to hearing it. You ready? <laughs> Amaral, happy birthday! <gasps> it's a new toy! Oh goodness! Is that a new toy? He loves things that crinkle and he loves giant squeakers. So. <laughs> Happy birthday. Good morning, Riddler. We doing good? Hi, Sassy. Are we doing good? <laughs> Are you liking your toy? It's like, yes, I do. So yesterday I gave the boys their Petco free treats. I still have a lot of them left. Because some of them were going to go in MRL's breakfast bowl and I kind of forgot. A couple of them are for Sassy and then I was going to save a lot of the cheese rings for training. And then MRL has two more birthday surprises. And they're both treats. So, yay. And I actually need to put vlogs up. I've realized I have a lot of vlogs. But, oh well. So, yeah. Good morning and happy birthday, baby Bowie. Mama loves you. So right now, the birthday boy is eating a pup pie. Here's what one of the slices looks like. Pulled these two off for the others. It's a pup pie through BarkBox. So with his October BarkBox, he got a pie. And Riddler's mad because he hears me giving him a treat. This one is... I'm let Emeril have the whole thing, except for this. I'm letting his brother and sister have that. But since this is his birthday, on Riddler's birthday, he got to have the rest of his bag of Petco treats with his breakfast. But this little boy, this is what he can have. So, yay buddy. Oh, you want the crumbs? You want the crumbs? Yeah. Has it been a good birthday? I think it's been a wonderful birthday for you buddy. I'm gonna have crumbs all in my bed but you know what it's worth it so I'm gonna let your brother and sister each have a piece sassy sassy you want a piece of MRL's birthday pie do you want a bite there I'll put it right there do you want to try it there you go Mmm, what do you think? Is that good? Is that good? Alright, now we let Riddler have his piece. Riddler, do you want a piece of birthday pie? Mmm, yummy, yummy. What do you think? I think Sassy likes it. She ate it all up. I know you liked it. No, you can't have it. You just had an entire pie to yourself. Let your brother eat his. You little brat face. <sighs> so happy birthday to the Emeril. I love you. Hey guys. There's the Riddler. And there's my sock almost on. There's a sassy. <gasps> and birthday boy. Hello. And I hear my brother in his room. I think he's talking to a girl. Oh, wow. 
anyway, yeah, I'm finally getting dressed. I do have to go work in sessions tonight, but I'm also getting myself motivated to go to the doctor to discuss blood work. I don't have a specific appointment, but I'm like, Raven, get up. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. What are you guys sniffing at? I don't know what he's looking for. It's an, it's an adventure. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at my text messages. I was texting my friend Caitlin about getting motivated. She's like, "Are you? do you have real pants? What about real shoes? And I'm just like, sweatpants count as pants? No, I'm wearing jeans. But these are new jeans. I'm so excited about it. So I've heard that guys' jeans usually are somewhat cheaper, but I don't think that's actually true. They are built better and they have real pockets so i'm trying them out with these athletic cut which is great for the big thighs and the big hips and i quite love these and hopefully they don't get like the inner thigh holes chub rub as i've heard it called um hold on what is my hair doing one part of my hair is kind of straight and the other part's not and i kind of give up <laughs> um the rest of the jeans I have have holes rubbed in them, and I'm so sad. So, got a new pair, and I'm excited to see how long they last. And, yeah, so, I'm also hungry, but I really don't feel like making any food. But now I'm about to head to the doctor's office and see what we could do about all this. And I'll check back in with you guys later. Hey, guys. There's my two sleepy boys and my sleepy girl. And it's like 11.30 at night. I was mostly FaceTiming one of my friends. So, yay! Um, but, so, I did go to the doctor. And, apparently, um, I had been referred to a specialist, but I canceled the appointment. And I don't remember doing this at all. And the doctor, she, it wasn't the doctor I wanted to see. It was a different one, but she was being really rude about the fact that I could not remember like, even though she showed me that she had written that I had declined, I didn't remember doing it at all. So I figured, if I did it, it must have been because at the time my mom was freaking out about me going to a specialist. And I thought that I had done the appointment myself. But I don't remember at all. So, yay. Um, so, we're trying to get an appointment with the specialist. Um, and there's been thrown up in the air where it sounds like I could have hyperthyroid or have thyroiditis or could be a lot of different things, but the specialist would be able to test like enzymes and all sorts of stuff to figure out what's going on with me. So hopefully I could get an appointment soon. And she's like, you're going to go to this one, right? And I was like, yeah. And she's just being so rude. And I'm just like... I told you, I don't remember doing this. And she was just really rude about it, so, ugh. And then, anxiety was kind of up. And then, I worked, I went to work selling concessions, and I managed to hit somebody's car. So I was trying to pull into a parking space and avoid this one car that was a little too close. And I ended up hitting the back of another car. Which, of course, made me so anxious. There wasn't anybody around. The owner of the car wasn't around. And when I got out and checked, I had scraped paint on the corner of their car. And then mine has a crack in the front. So I was like, okay. Well, at least mine has more damage than theirs. Good. But of course, it's still not good to me. So I called my parents. At first, they said to file a police... My dad said to file a police report. And shush phone. And I was like, but... I don't know who owns the car. They weren't around. I have no clue. So he just said to let it go. And of course, my mom was not happy about that. But even though, at this point, I knew there was nothing else can do, it made me so anxious all night. And, like, I'm already in a really busy environment, like, getting stuff for people. So my anxiety was already kind of up. And then there was thinking of that. And by the time I got done and left, their car was gone. So I'm like, oh. But I had parked, like I didn't park beside them anymore. I ended up pulling around and parking in a different place. So, shush. My friend is blowing up my phone. Um, 
So, yeah. That was an anxiety-inducing night. But then I got home and got to my precious boys and my precious girl. And everything was alright again. Hooray! Um... But now, I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is... Hmm. You want no really question of the day? Just say happy birthday to Emeril, because today was his birthday. And yes, I will be making a video montage of him, just like I did Riddler. So put your answers down below, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Good night, Riddler. Oh, there you are. That's Riddler's flank. Good night, Riddler. Good night, Emerald. Good night, sassy girl.